bad girl. Na 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 na. Welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Brie Jamila and I welcome you to my channel. And if you guys are already subscriber guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to check out a yet another video. If you haven't already, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share, and check out my other content, okay? So let's get right into this video today. Okay, so as you can see from today's video title, we are talking about pretty privilege. <laughs> now, I've seen so many YouTube videos talking about pretty privilege. It is actually so scary. There's so many different concepts and a lot of people have different opinions when it comes to pretty privilege, of course, right? For those of you who do not know what pretty privilege means, it basically means a woman is treated better in life due to how attractive she appears to be, okay? Now, I know it sounds really shallow and really out of pocket, let's just say it, um, but it's a real thing. Pretty privilege is definitely a real thing. And I just wanted to touch on a little bit of today um, you guys know, no long drawn out videos, but I definitely want to touch on this topic because it is a very controversial topic at the moment. So one thing I'm going to say from the start off when it comes to this video is, I know pretty privilege exists, okay? I am not one of those people in this world that ignores the fact that it does exist and there are women out there that are treated better because they are prettier. It, I am not one of those people. I know that it's something that does exist. Now, a disclaimer before I start anything or say anything regarding pretty privilege. I, for myself, for me, I do not find myself unattractive in no way, shape, or form. Like, for me personally, I find myself very attractive. I like the way I look. I am happy with the looks that God has given me, okay? Personal opinion, okay? Now, Everybody not, may, may not find me attractive. There are people that find me very attractive. Either which way for me, as long as I find myself attractive, I think that works best for me. <laughs> um, and that's just where I'm at right now with it. But I just want you guys to know before y'all come for me in the comments, I definitely, definitely find myself attractive. I think I am beautiful inside and out. You guys have seen me on this platform with makeup on, without makeup on, full face beat, looking crazy, wig leaning, all type of things going on, okay? Trust me, I'm okay with every stage that I look. Like, I'm okay with how I look with the makeup on, without the makeup on. I'm okay with all of that. So I just want you guys to know that in advance. One thing I can personally say is I don't like that there's not a space open for women to come out and say, I do not have pretty privilege. I have to work extra hard for what I want in life because I wasn't blessed with those features, you know what I mean? Or I don't have the money to change those features to make them more pleasing to society, right? I feel like there's no safe space for that. I feel like a lot of women are told, hold your head up, you know, you got this, you are blue, beautiful inside and out, but genuinely a lot of women don't feel like that. They don't feel beautiful inside and out, you know? And I feel like, you know, a lot of time you see these women on these platforms and they're gorgeous, but a lot of these women are not natural, let's be real, and a lot of these women, um, have done something to their body, face, or something to make them look a more prettier than they actually are, okay? Not saying that they're ugly, but they do accentuate their features more to be pleasing, you know? So I feel like there should be definitely a safe space for a woman to come out and say, you know, I don't feel like I have that pretty privilege or I do not have that pretty privilege. I do not look like a lawyer Harvey. I do not look like a Ciara. I am not a Ryan Destiny. I am not a Normani. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you are you. And I feel like you have to love yourself for every freckle, every blemish that you have. You have to love yourself really and truly because if you don't, you know, the effects of what society shows you is beautiful makes you feel like you're not. Okay, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I'm not going to say I don't have pretty privilege, but I'm not going to say I do. 
I feel like I'm one of those women that are literally placed in the middle. And why I say that is because if I am dressed a certain way, if I look a certain way, trust me, I am able to go to a bar or go to a club and have men buy drinks for me. I will have men come up to me and compliment me or you know try to talk to me i've had women come to me and tell me you are so beautiful like i have had those experiences do i feel like um life has been easier i wouldn't say that i don't feel like life has been easier for me in like school career like those things i feel like i've had to work for those things i don't feel like because i've been pretty or because I'm attractive to some, that I've eased my way through life. You know what I mean? Like for a woman like Lori Harvey, where they would say, oh my God, she's dropped it gorgeous. And I'm gonna use Lori Harvey because that's what everybody, everyone keeps talking about. But a woman like her, we're not the same. Do I think that I'm ugly compared to her? Absolutely not. But we're not the same woman. We do have the same features. We don't look alike, you know, nothing of that nature. So what she would be able to have in life or get a pass in me maybe i would have to work a little bit harder to get it you get what i'm trying to say i'm not as i repeat i'm not saying i'm ugly but i'm just saying i don't have as much pull as a lord harvey that's why i'm saying i personally to myself i'm in the middle because i've been in situations where i've walked into a room and people have turned around and been like yo Who's that girl? Na, 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 na. Like, I've had that, you know? And I've had moments where, you know, I'm very dressed down and barely get any attention. So it literally depends. Like, it literally depends. So I would never say I don't have it and I wouldn't say I do. I'm right in the middle, child. Right in the middle. One thing I'm going to say, and it's, it's real whether we like to admit it or not, appearance matters. We're in the day and age where appearance is everything, okay? Like we wanna pretend like it's not, but it really is. How you look and appear to others matters. Your first impression matters. So what I would say is if you, and I've said this in other videos, if you haven't already, please check out my other content, but I've said it in other videos. If you're not happy with something, fix it. But fix it because you genuinely are unhappy with it and you know that it will make you feel better. Don't go out there and like fix your teeth or fix your boobs or fix your butt or do all these things. Fix your nose, your toe, whatever you're trying to fix because society is telling you that that's perfect or that's the image that you need to portray. Do it for yourself. Like for me fixing my teeth. It was an insecurity, you know what I mean? On my behalf. I didn't fix it because I want society to be like, good job, you have nice teeth. No, I did it because I wanted to be able to pose in pictures, smile in pictures and feel good. I wanted to be able to speak to someone and when I spoke to them, they're not looking at my gap. You know what I mean? So for me, that was a big thing, but I did it for me. One thing I've realized is, my life coach always tells me, anything you do in life, anything you do, make sure it's for you and it's gonna make you happy. Not anyone else, not, no, no one else's opinions, nothing. It has to make you happy. Because in the end, you're the one that's gonna regret it if it genuinely doesn't make you happy. So there was a TikTok circling around with this young woman speaking on having pretty privilege and she basically said tell me you have pretty privilege without telling me you have pretty privilege and so many people kept stitching the tiktok and just basically child these are some things that i'm like what the hell like that ain't never happened to me but they said some things that i literally thought was out of pocket <laughs> you know what i mean like that's out here really happening but you know i can only imagine women who came across this tiktok who do not have pretty privilege, who have not experienced any type of pretty privilege, who have not felt that they are that beautiful, that gorgeous, or who deal with any type of insecurity issues. Like I feel like sometimes these, these platforms, these apps make us just feel like we're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not smart enough. Um, you're not doing enough, you know? And pretty privilege has really 
diminished a lot of women over the years. It has really diminished um, women because you just feel like you're not enough because you do not look like these Instagram models. You do not look like these um, other YouTubers, let's be real, that are prettier or that have got it going on. But let's be real, a lot of these Instagram models and these YouTubers, realistically, you have money to maintain that image. You know what I mean? So I love to watch YouTubers, me personally, who aren't the perfect look, that have that you know, flaw here, flaw there, because it makes you still know that it's okay to be, have blemishes. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to, you know, look crazy sometimes. You guys have seen me on this app, I repeat, wig, leaning, lashes, falling off, mid video, like, and I'll be like, oh crap, my freaking wig is leaning, or oh crap, my eyelashes is freaking falling off. You know what I mean? I've never been one to be on this app, with money or not, to just be on some, I'm perfect, because that's not realistic. No one is perfect, you know what I mean? That's why I even showed y'all my journey with me getting my teeth fixed, because why? No one's perfect. We all have things that are, that make us, you know, not perfect, you know what I mean? So, like, don't ever feel like, because pretty privilege is pushed upon us so much that you're not perfect in your own way, because we all are. We're all beautiful in our own way. And that's what makes us unique. That's what makes us special. You know what I mean? You wouldn't want to look like anybody else or be anybody else. You want to be you. One thing I can say I do hate to hear is women who come on this app and say, because I do not have pretty privilege, I would not hang out with the woman that looks like the Ciara, the Lori Harvey, the Ryan Destiny, the Normani's, the Beyonce's, the women that are, I guess you could say, deemed as beautiful, right? To me, that's a more deep down insecurity that has nothing to do with pretty privilege, okay? That's a, you do not feel comfortable being around a woman who is that beautiful and that confident in her beauty. Me personally, all I want around me is bad beliefs, okay? I want nothing but bad chicks around me 24-8. Boss chicks, boss women, beautiful women, just women that I could just, ooze all of that like i personally love that that is something i want for sure i definitely want all my friends to be beautiful i definitely want all my friends to be bosses and have the same mindset as me and when i go out i don't feel some type of way like when i'm dressed a certain way i'll be like look at that bad belief next to me look at that bad belief next to me i don't gotta be like ooh, i gotta dim down a notch because she's not like that or she's insecure you know so i feel like women who come on this app or other apps and say those type of things, it's an insecurity thing. That has nothing to do with pretty privilege. I feel like that's a more deep down, you need to dig deep and figure out why you wouldn't want to be around beautiful women. You know what I mean? Like, you never know what could off from me from being around such a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? But teach his own, I guess. It's not much I really wanted to talk about when it came to this video. Um, and I say that because it's a very controversial topic. For a woman like me, like I told you guys before, I feel like I'm in between. You know what I mean? I feel like I get attention from a lot of people, but at the same time, life hasn't been easier for me. Um, due to, of course, I am dark skinned. I am tall, you know, I'm 5'9". I'm not your average height as a woman. So things haven't been very easy for me in certain aspects. Um, but I have been um, deemed attractive by some. So I feel like I'm the type of woman that is in between. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I don't even care what society thinks or anything of that nature. That's just how I feel when discussing the topic of pretty privilege. Um, do I feel like it affects a lot of women's self-esteem? Absolutely. Do I feel like it affects a lot of women and makes them feel very insecure about their self? Absolutely. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, what I'm gonna leave you guys with is, you have to love yourself internally. From the inside, literally out. Because if you don't love you internally, it don't matter what the hell you look like on the outside. You have to love you internally. Because then nothing could really phase you that much when you love yourself on the inside. And why I say that is because, of course, I see women on the internet, I'm like, God damn, I wanna look that damn good. You know what I mean? But I'm like, child, when I get my money and when I have my money, I do steps to get there, to be that 
you know, have that beautiful glow and that, you know, get regular facials and do all these things. Like I just started doing like facials recently or whatever. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's something I would love to do literally twice a week, but they're not cheap. So I'm just like, you know, you know, continue to slowly do them, you know, every, um, I do mine every two weeks now, you know, just do it every two weeks until you're able to do it twice a week. You know what I mean? Just take better care of my skin. Take better care of my body. You know what I mean? So being pretty or having pretty privilege can start in many aspects. You know what I mean? I feel like taking care of better of your, in taking care of yourself definitely plays a big part in pretty privilege. You know what I mean? We all don't look like these Instagram models or these celebrities, but it, you are you, you know? And the you in you is going to shine bright. Someone's going to see it. Someone's going to love it. And you just have to appreciate those people who make you feel beautiful and those people who tell you you're beautiful. Um, I know that we live in a world where society matters. You know, it really does matter. But it, 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 I, just, I just want you guys to love yourself on a different type of level. Men and women, love yourself. We look like no other person, unless you have a twin. <laughs> but you look like yourself. You are you and you alone. So just embrace that, embody that, love that, love on you. I love you. I think you are beautiful inside and out, even the people I've never actually seen. But I know you guys are beautiful people. Um, but I just want you guys to understand that don't let this pretty privilege trend break you down or you know, really just continue to diminish you on the inside because you are beautiful no matter what society tells you that you are, okay? So, you're beautiful, I love you. If you guys love this video, um, you like this video, you just, you know, understood where I was coming from when it came to giving more of a positive outlook on it, um, just drop your comments below, let me know what you think. Um, let me know any experiences you've had when it comes to being having pretty privilege or not having it or what if you think you're in between like I do like just drop your comments below let me know um again don't forget to like subscribe comment and share thank you guys turn on your bell notification so you know when the videos drop um again I love you guys and you guys have a wonderful week